6 a.m. and I'm off to catch my flight to Rome. I took a bus to the airport. I was so excited because it's my first trip abroad since COVID. Now I'm ready to board the plane. This is the most exciting part of a trip. You look forward to the sights you'd see, the places you'd visit, the food you'd eat, and the memories you'd make. You're full of expectations. Finally, I landed in Rome. I was prepared to go sightseeing in Rome, but I fell asleep because I was jet lagged. The next day, I got up at 5 a.m. to see the Trevi Fountain without so many people. I thought there would be no one, but there were several people there when we arrived. Still, it was worth it to see the fountain. Afterwards, we headed back to the hotel to have breakfast. We had a great meal on the terrace. We passed by the Basilica of St. Mary Nature. But we didn't go in because we weren't that interested. arrived at our destination, the Colosseum. It would have been nice to have had a guided tour to learn about the history of the Colosseum. But just looking at the architecture was interesting enough. Our next destination was the Roman Forum, or the Foro Romano. It was right next to the Colosseum. We got to see the ruins. It was sunny, but it was also scorching hot. So I got really exhausted. Still, it was remarkable that these ruins survived since the ancient Roman era. Getting to know the culture of these people was intriguing. After some sightseeing, we had to have lunch. The price was reasonable and the food was good, so the lunch was satisfactory overall. There was also a famous gelato place near the restaurant, so we got some gelato. I think I had a cup of gelato every day in Italy. The gelato place was near the mouth of truth, which explains the fake marble mask in the back. This is the real mouth of truth. According to legend, it will bite off the hand of a liar. It will also bite off your hand if you tell a lie with your hand in its mouth. I guess I'm not a liar since my hand is intact. This is the altar of the Fatherland in front of Piazza Venezia. Like many of the buildings in Italy, it was really majestic and monumental. I couldn't fully capture its magnificence. Nevertheless, it was tough climbing the stairs. We could see the grass with the colors of the Italian flag.
The view from above was spectacular. We could see almost all of Rome. We had to take a rest again. After that, I bought a Gucci bag because it's relatively cheap in Italy, but I had no idea what was coming for me, all because of this bag. I just did some window shopping at Brandy Melville. I didn't have anything to buy. Next, I had the famous Pompey tiramisu. They had so many different types of tiramisu, but I got the classic. I don't really like tiramisu, but this one was good. On my way back to the hotel, this is what happened. Due to so many people, I dropped my shoe between the subway and the platform. What is more is that a pickpocket stole my wallet when I lost my shoe while holding on to my Gucci bag. Honestly, I was speechless, but it was kind of funny. So I just decided I'd forget about it and unbox my Gucci bag. The restaurant gave us bread in a brown bag. I had some of their wine, but I forgot what exactly it was. Their pasta wasn't too bad, but it was kind of salty. The sky was absolutely beautiful. We headed to the Colosseum once again to catch the night view. I personally thought the night view was better than its day view. Someone sent me a DM that they found my wallet. The next day, we went to Vatican City. We signed up for a really useful guided tour of the Vatican Museum. It was interesting to learn about the origins of each artwork. The museum's ceiling was also adorned with intricate paintings. We saw the famous painting, The School of Athens, by Raphael. We also went to the Sistine Chapel, but we weren't allowed to film in there. This was my favorite place in Vatican City. It's called the Cortile de la Piña, and it was really pretty. St. Peter's Basilica was also grand and majestic. the short trip to the Vatican, we came back to Rome, which was where I got my wallet back. The security guard who found it was such a sweet lady. We then went to this local restaurant, which was clearly not full of tourists. I ordered a hamburger and got only the patty. I'm guessing this is a hamburger in Italy. Still, it was good, so I ate it enthusiastically. And of course, I had to have my gelato of the day. The source of all problems. I had to go to the Gucci store again because they made a mistake regarding my tax refund papers. They wrote North Korea instead of South Korea as my nationality. 
Other than that, I had a pleasant experience here, so it was okay. This is the view from the Spanish Steps. This is a photo on our way to the Pantheon. The inside of the Pantheon was as impressive as the outside. The Pantheon holds Raphael's tomb. The Pantheon from the outside. It was really hot, so we had to stop by a cafe again. In the evening, we went to Trastevere to have dinner. We couldn't eat at this restaurant because the line was too long. Instead, we went to Mr. Clued, which was a really good choice. The pasta we had was the best pasta we've ever had. We finally had a good meal in Italy. The waitress was really nice as well. If you're in Rome, I absolutely recommend this place. After the meal, we looked around Trastevere. There were so many people here, but there weren't many tourists. We were able to see how the locals spent their night out. There were some bars along the Tiber. We decided to visit one of them. I really like the vibrant ambience of Trust to Vera. I would definitely recommend spending time here. There were also several hookah bars. We went to an alcohol slushy bar. You can choose how many shots you'd like to add, and these people added a wild amount. The alcohol slushy was so good that it didn't taste like alcohol. Next, we visited Gaster Sant'Angelo. for Pompeii and Sorrento. First, we took the train to Naples. Then, we took the Circumve Suviana to Pompeii. We had lunch, and then we began to explore Pompeii. I've always wanted to come to Pompeii because of its history, but it wasn't a fun experience. The ruins and stone bodies were interesting to see, but it was so hot that I just wanted to go inside. While taking a rest, we encountered a cute cat. Anyway, that's it for this vlog. Thanks for watching.